Welcome to the VM Blog Expert Interview Series. And today we're once again joined by Barack Schoester, who is now the Chief Architect at Palo Alto Networks. Viewers might remember watching a previous interview a few months ago when he was the CTO and co-founder of Bridge Crew, which has since been acquired by Palo Alto. Barack, welcome back. It's good to chat with you again. It's great to be here. Thank you, David. So I want to jump right in. Uh, I know Bridge Crew team which, as I said, was recently acquired by Palo Alto Networks. Uh, you guys have built a new open source project called Your. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So Bridge Crew was an open core company, and as part of Palo Alto, we still are an open core company. And what we try to do is to help any DevOps engineer out there that is using infrastructure as code or cloud resources um, to uh, adopt new ways to be more productive in their day-to-day. -day. And we came out with Yor, a tool for tagging and tracing infrastructure as code, as a tool that might answer a lot of use cases that manual tagging uh, used to solve for you. So usually in large enterprises, you would have had uh, tagging best practices or a confluence page with a tagging policy. And we saw that in a lot of work, it's just a lot, a lot of paperwork and a lot of manual engineering work. So we decided to create a framework to automate that process of tagging cloud resources for use cases like cost reduction, security, um, ownership, um, and others into a single framework that you can code and put in your CI/CD pipeline. And this is your. So, you know, obviously being able to automatically tag and trace cloud resources seems like a huge benefit that goes, you know, much further beyond than security. What, uh, what are some of the other use cases that you can kind of talk about that, uh, that works with your? So actually AWS have done a good job in formalizing six best practices. Um, so security and cost are two of them, but also console organization making sense on your inventory. Because when you have a lot of engineers and you have a lot of cloud resources, it's really hard to track what's related to what project. So console organization or inventory organization is another use case. Access control is another one. You can actually define IAM policies based on tags. And this is where your can actually help you because it will automatically tag an owner or a cost center, if you'd like, to each and every resources managed in three of uh, the major infrastructure as code frameworks, Terraform, CloudFormation, and serverless. So you can use those tags to have access control policies. And another one that we use internally a lot is operation support. Once you tag an owner to each and every cloud resource and you know who, who to call in case there is an incident. This is where tagging and operation support really comes together because instead of trying to triage and understand who owns a cloud resource, a process that might take you a few days on a large scale environment, you automatically have an owner assigned to each resource using Git history or other uh, parameters. So the, the meantime to re respond to an incident in production can actually be solved much faster because you no longer need to triage logs and audit logs of GitHub and CloudTrail and others. You can automatically assign ownership to each and every cloud resource and trace it back from code to cloud. And you, I guess you touched on it a little bit uh, earlier, but uh, let's talk about Bridge Crew's commitment to open source. Uh, you know, after an acquisition, it could be easy for a company uh, that's been acquired to sort of kick back and relax and just continue on, you know, the path that they were on. Uh, what made the team want to push forward and push out yet another open source project? Uh, so uh, the, the, the feeling that would describe this the most is, is actually passion. We're passionate about helping DevOps engineers and we are passionate about this, this field. And we know that for a lot of DevOps engineers, the first way uh, to interact with a solution would be open source. So if you're a DevOps engineer, you're probably familiar with Ansible, Chef, Puppet, Terraform, and other infrastructure as code frameworks. And the way to tap into that usually would be go to Stack Overflow or to your favorite forums and, and search for a solution. And we want to be there. 
bridge crew and Palo Alto want to be the tool that DevOps engineers would like to use. So we are looking to answer more and more needs using open source solutions. So we have a clear motivation to do that for our customers and community. And many of uh, VMblog viewers will be familiar with, uh, with, the pro with Checkoff, uh, which was an existing open source project from Bridge Crew that helped developers scan for misconfigurations and in infrastructure as code. We talked about that last time. Uh, can you talk a bit about how Checkoff and your are related, if at all? Yes. So if you use a tracing engine like your, and you have it in your CI/CD pipeline, you can now create policies on top of your traces. So Chekhov is a policy as code. On Chekhov 2.0, we introduced even graph policies uh, to that release. And if you have your inside your pipeline and you automatically assign an owner, you can write complex policies that both uh, touch the attributes of a configuration and the owner, for example, of a configuration. For example, let's say that I have an S3 bucket defined in Terraform. And your told me that the owner of that S3 bucket is actually the security team because it has audit trail log logs or the database team because this S3 bucket contains backups. Since you have assigned an owner, I can create a policy saying, hey, only that team can modify the configuration of that resource or only that team can access the data within that resource. And this is where a policy as code tool and a tagging and tracing tool can actually enrich each other to a complete flow. You talked about your passion and the fact that you guys are committed to open source and to developers. Uh, what's next for the Bridge Crew team? So obviously your launch is the, things, the thing that I'm most excited about. And there is some great contributions from the community that was attached to Chekhov since we last talked enhancing our ability to skip and, and monitor infrastructure as code frameworks. And we're probably going to expand to other infrastructure as code frameworks that we do not support today. Um, as for your, we are looking to expand it to new verticals. So it has support today in Terraform, CloudFormation, and Serverless. And the next manifest framework that you can probably you would probably be able to see on your yours next release would be Kubernetes and Helm charts, enabling users to trace who owns a specific pod or namespace or a cluster using a, this automated framework of tagging and tracing. And before we end, I just want to make sure that uh, everybody who's watching knows uh, we, we talked about you know Palo Alto Networks, Bridge Crew. Uh, the acquisition. Uh, I just want to make sure folks know where to go if they want to learn more. Do, do, you, do they still go to the, is it the Bridge Crew website? I know it's still, uh, you guys still have the branding and the productized, uh, the name. I just want to make sure that I'm sending folks to the right place. Sure. So you can definitely go to the bridgecrew.io website or the blog itself, which is the same, just slash blog. Or you can follow us on the GitHub org which is bridgecrew.io slash Chekhov at GitHub or bridgecrew.io slash your the same on github.com. So yeah, I'm keen to get the community's feedback about those open source tools. So looking forward to see you there. Perfect. All right. Well, uh, once again, thanks, Barack. I really appreciate uh, you taking time out to speak with VMblog. Uh, it was great speaking to you again. Uh, and I look forward to our next conversation. All right. Thank you, David. It was great for me too. All right, thank you.